With a solid start to the season, Minnesota is 2-0 on the year entering week three as they prepare to take on the University of Texas at San Antonio Roadrunners. The Gophers are back at home in TCF Bank Stadium following last week's victory over New Mexico State and they'll try to make it a 3-0 start today over the 1-1 UTSA Roadrunners as week three kicks off next. The Gophers taking on UTSA, whose football program is only entering its third year of existence, but they know how to put up a fight. Larry Coker's done a good job down in San Antonio as Eric Souza hands off to David Glasgow in the game's first play, a gain of five. The runner's offense led by senior quarterback Eric Souza, who will throw for the first time today on second down and connect to this tight end, Jeremiah Muller, for a gain of five. And both quarterbacks in this game can run, so we could see a lot of the ground game today. Sosa's going to throw again, though, outside. It's Moeller for the second time, a gain of six, and he'll set up a third and medium. So third down and four for UTSA. Eric Sosa, delayed handoff to David Glasgow, and he's met immediately and set down by the quarterback, Derek Wells, who collected two interceptions last week, and he forces fourth down. And so the Gophers offense for the first time today. First and 10, Nelson hands off to Danelle Kirkwood up the middle, and the junior picks up about five yards on the carry. Kirkwood with 185 yards rushing on the season, no touchdowns yet, as Nelson throws on second down and finds his tight end, Drew Goodger, again 13 yards. And now in UTSA territory, third and short, handoff Kirkwood up the middle, he gets the first down across the 35, and the chains will move. Two tight ends in the formation, two receivers left, and Nelson goes play action. With time, he finds Isaac Frickty at the 24-yard line, 11-yard gain in the first down. That was Frickty's 12th catch on the year. He already has three touchdowns, and now Kirkwood back on the ground, and he goes up the middle for a gain of 10, solid running from Janelle Kirkwood. Inside the 10, the Gophers trying to strike first. Second down and four, Nelson play action. He'll throw, and Lincoln pulls second in the end zone, makes the catch for the Gophers touchdown. Pulsek's second touchdown on the season as Nelson takes the hit but stands tall and finds his tight end for six. Good start so far for the Gophers. I form look this time from Souza who goes play action himself and he'll stand tall in the pocket with plenty of time and downfield wide open is Jeremiah Moeller as he got separation off of Aaron Hill and then he goes aerial for a gain of 32. Good play, and now in Minnesota territory, Souza back to pass on first down, trying to escape the pocket, and he's sacked by Ben Perry the fourth for a loss of six. Last week it was Theron Cochran with four sacks, and now Souza's been sacked for the first time today. Screen pass on second and long. This time it's Glasgow, a solid pickup here, a gain of eight. Good job by Glasgow to make it third and manageable, and now they bunch up the right side of the formation, and Souza looks to take off up the middle, but defenders get in his way, and he only gets six yards. It's going to be fourth down and short. And so Sean Ayano, the strong right-footed kicker, from about 50 yards out. Here's the kick. It's up, and it is wide left. No good. The missed field goal gives Minnesota good field position at their own 35-yard line, but Nelson on the first play of the drive is sacked off the edge. A great blitz. Pressure applied by Will Ritter. Backed up to second and 16 with 50 seconds to go in the first quarter. Slant over the middle is caught by Devin Crawford. Tufts for nine. Nelson needs to pick up six here on third down. Three wide shotgun over the middle. Caught by Drew Goodger, but he is just shy of the first down, they'll say. Fourth and short. The missed field goal does UTSA no harm. They have the football at their own 24-yard line. Souza back to throw, and here he goes again to run. Across the first down marker, staying on his feet after contact, and up past the 40, a gain of 17 for Souza. I told you Souza likes to run. He comes into this game averaging 13 rushes per game, and he hands off to Glasgow on first down for seven up the middle. Third and short this time, full house. And Souza fakes to Evans Okacha. Triple option to the left, and Souza's wrapped up. And it's James Manuel on the play, it's fourth down. 7-0 Minnesota here in the second quarter, five minutes to go in the first half. Nelson fires on second down, and Andre McDonald has it for a gain of 14 yards. Nelson doing a good job of spreading the ball around so far this season. Second down and six, screen pass left, and it's a loose ball fumble, and UTSA has recovered. He wanted Frickty on the screen, it was a great call with the defensive backs playing off. But the quick pass, there was pressure immediately and Frickty wasn't ready, hit him right in the face mask. A fortunate turnover for the UTSA defense, recovered by Nick Johnston, and now Glasgow takes the handout from Souza up the middle, cutting and weaving his way through open field, 16 yards. Third down and nine, Glasgow to the right of Eric Souza out of the shotgun. 
and he'll step up and fire over the middle, and it's knocked away at the last second by James Manuel at the goal line. Ayano missed from 50, this one's from about 45 yards out. Snap down, hold by Carter, kick is up, and Sean Ayano puts UTSA on the board. 7-3 Minnesota leads, low scoring here in the first half. Philip Nelson with three wide receivers on second and eight. Over the middle on the drag, it's Isaac Fricke, a gain of five. So third down and three, under two minutes to go in the first half. Nelson back to pass. With time, he finds Crawford Tufts underneath, sitting down and gaining about 10 yards on the catch and run. Another three wide look for Minnesota. It's Kirkwood in the backfield. Nelson play action. And now to McDonald, he makes the catch at the 40 yard line in traffic once again. McDonald's play so far giving Minnesota the confidence of running those three wide sets. And now Kirkwood back up the middle, a solid gain of 10 before he's hit down hard. First and 10, another three wide formation. Nelson goes play action. Outside open is Drew Goodger, his tight end just shy of the 10, an 18 yard first down. Good first half for Minnesota, but they only have seven points to show for it. James Gillum up the middle, and he breaks the plane for a four-yard touchdown run. Danell Kirkwood still without a score, but Minnesota increases their lead to 13-3. And after one half of play, Minnesota up 11, 14-3 over the UTSA Roadrunners after touchdown scored by Lincoln Pulsek and James Gillum. But we'll go on now for the halftime show, looking at some more recruiting. We're going to focus only on offense today. And we'll start with running backs, as James Gillum is graduating this year and the starter, Donnell Kirkwood, is a junior. The Gophers are going hard after 5'9 running back Kevin Martindale from Alabama, a very complete runner, not the greatest pass catcher, but has a very strong skill set. And with fullback Mike Henry graduating after this season, Minnesota is looking at fullback Will Thompson from Anoka, who's a very good blocker, he has enough speed to possibly be a short yardage power back. But I'd have to say the number one guy the Gophers are going after is four-star receiver Doug Duckett from Florida. He's a talented possession receiver with good quickness and route running. He has very good hands. And with talent of his caliber, he could easily be a number two or possibly a number one wide receiver. And we'll wrap things up with two tight ends Minnesota's looking at, David Mayo and Jason Haas. Mayo being the more intriguing prospect due to his speed and receiving ability. But the season is still young, not a ton of news on the recruiting front, but there are some prospects Minnesota is definitely keeping their eye on. And that'll do it for halftime this week, and now we're going to move on to the second half, which will be right up next. And the third quarter is now underway with Minnesota having possession of the football handoff from Nelson to Kirkwood, running left for a gain of seven. Nelson was a perfect 11 of 11 in the first half for 116 yards, and now pressure off the edge. He's sacked by Cody Rogers, who went around Ed Olsen. And so third down and 10. Split shotgun look. Nelson will pass, and pressure picked up when he fires it outside to Devin Crawford. Tuss for 12. First down, Minnesota. The leading receiver of the first half was Drew Goodger, four catches for 43 yards, and now second and 12. Pressure picked up again, but nobody open as Nelson has to take another sack from Will Ritter. Following the Minnesota punt, it's UTSA football. Eric Soza out for the third quarter, an option to the right. Nicely run across midfield, and Soza picks up the first down with his legs in Minnesota territory. Nine rushes for Souza so far, 60 yards on the ground, and now Glasgow up the middle. He breaks out of Hageman's tackle and powers his way for a solid pickup of seven yards. And Evans Okacha checks into the game in the backfield next to Eric Souza, who takes the handoff. Running left on third and four, he stiff arms Derek Wells and has the first down to the 35-yard line, eight yards for Okacha. Glasgow back in the game, I formation, he's behind Nate Shaw. Handoff right, it's Glasgow. Good block on the edge by Shaw, and he's wrapped up after a gain of nine. And UTSA trying to make this a one-score game. Fake to Okacha. Souza wants the run. First down across the 20, and he has a gain of nine again. So far through three games, it's been three running quarterbacks that Minnesota's defense has gone up against. And now Okacha again inside the five. Nice carry on the gain of six, and it's now first and goal. Knocking on the door. Five wide, first down and goal for Eric Souza. It's a draw up the middle, and Rashid Hageman sets him down for a gain of two. Full house pistol this time as Minnesota shows blitz, and they bring it, and Souza goes down to the tackle of Aaron Hill in the backfield, a loss of one. They try the triple option, now third and goal. They'll bunch up the left side, and Souza will pass. He wants to take off, breaks the tackle, but he's taken down to the four yard line by Derek Wells, fourth down and goal. And so 14-6, Minnesota's held the Roadrunner offense to two field goals. And here's Kirkwood on first down and 10-8, gain of two up the middle. A minute of 08 to go in the third quarter. Third down for Philip Nelson. 
Back to pass with time. Outside. Open is Andre McDonald as Nelson lays it in for 20. And you can see the stats on screen. Minnesota has ran the ball 22 times, only passed it 15 times. But here's a 16th pass from Nelson as Andre McDonald makes the catch in traffic. He's made a lot of difficult plays this season. And I'm not sure how he came away with that catch. Not the first time McDonald has bailed out Nelson and a handoff to Kirkwood up the middle. And he's taken down through a gain of nine. One quarter remains. Minnesota on top, 14 to six, an eight point lead. And Nelson runs option left, pitches back to Kirkwood. He has the first down across the 30 and is brought down at the 26 yard line after a gain of six yards. Minnesota running the ball very well and also passing very effectively. A high completion percentage today for Nelson. He'll throw again outside. It's Andre McDonald inside the 10 for 13 yards. On second down and goal to go. Danell Kirkwood is the lone back. He takes the handoff up the middle and Danell Kirkwood breaks the plane for his first rushing touchdown on the season. 21 to six, Minnesota on top. UTSA has to get some points in a hurry. Eric Souza outside. His pass is intercepted by Martez Shabazz of the 44. And Minnesota will take back over possession inside of their own 45. Souza wanted Aaron Holmes on the outside, but great coverage by Shabazz. And with this 15 point lead, we're likely to see a lot more running from Minnesota. And here it is, Kirkwood up the middle, a spin move, not much room, but he does manage four yards. Third down and two, Drew Goodger in motion, two tight ends left. Stretch play outside, but good pursuit, and he's taken down by Kerfez after a gain of one. So fourth down for Minnesota, and they're gonna call on Chris Hawthorne from 50 yards out, and his kick is up, and it is just shy. So a 50 yard field goal, no good for Hawthorne. UTSA has it, it's still a two score lead, four minutes to play, and Kenny Harrison makes the catch on second down, called that a gain of seven yards. We haven't seen Sozer really stretch the field yet. We'll see if he has to take his shot. He's gonna run on second and nine. Up the middle with room, and he's brought down in Minnesota territory by Damian Wilson. Three minutes to play. Three receivers left for Eric Souza. Minnesota sends the blitz, and Souza looks to scramble. Back up the middle, he stiff arms Derek Wells and picks up another first down on the 11-yard run. These runs are effective, but they also keep the clock running. 2.25 to go. And screen pass set up. It's Brandon Armstrong on the right. And he has just enough of the first down, still fighting across the 25 and 8 yard gain. Minnesota making an adjustment on defense, and here's the shotgun snap to Eric Souza. Very good protection, but good coverage downfield as Souza looks to scramble. And there's Ben Perry, the fourth, sitting in his spot. He takes down Souza after a one yard gain, but Souza's on the ground, and he looks to be hurt, grabbing his arm. And so Tucker Carter in the game now at quarterback with Eric Souza leaving the field, at least for the time being. Third and nine for Tucker Carter. Over the middle, and Kenny Harrison makes the catch, working on Derek Wells for a gain of 13. A touchdown makes it a one-score game. Tucker Carter out of the shotgun on first and goal. Slant over the middle, cut by Cam Jones. Seven yards, getting him that much closer. Two tight ends and a fullback. David Glasgow is the halfback. Carter hands off right, it's Glasgow. He breaks a tackle, and into the end zone goes David Glasgow for a UTSA touchdown, and it's 21-12. Eric Souza is back in the game for the two-point conversion. A nine-point game trying to make it seven. Souza over the middle, wide open is Brandon Freeman. And the two-point conversion is good, and UTSA makes it 21-14. to And now Sean Ayano's onside kick to give UTSA back the football. Down by seven, here it is, and the hop goes way out of bounds. And so Minnesota's going to take over right there. That was a wicked onside kick, but Minnesota has the football trying to run this clock out. It's Kirkwood on first down up the middle, six yards of tough running. Two timeouts for UTSA. One first down will do it. Kirkwood back up the middle, but he's tackled off the edge. It's only going to be a gain of two and now third down. UTSA has to get a stop. Kirkwood is the halfback behind Mike Henry. Up the middle. He's met. It's close. And they're going to give the first down to Minnesota. And that's going to seal the game. Philip Nelson will take a knee, and the Minnesota Gophers have knocked off the UTSA Roadrunners for their third game in a row to begin the 2013 college football season. A valiant effort from UTSA, a team with a very bright future ahead of them, their first year in Conference USA, but Minnesota knocks them off by seven. Player of the game honors go to Donnell Kirkwood with his 21 carries, 94 yards, and his first touchdown on the season. Philip Nelson finishes 16 of 18 for 185 yards, one touchdown, no interceptions. 
And today, Minnesota passed the ball 18 times to 34 runs. A lot of running today. Donnell Kirkwood getting it done on the ground. And next week, Minnesota will play their final non-conference game here again at home against the San Jose State Spartans in Week 4. It'll be their last game before Big Ten play opens with a big conference rival game between them and the Michigan Wolverines with a little brown jug. But we'll be back next week in Week 4 as Minnesota concludes non-conference play. Have a great day, everybody. Week 3, Minnesota is victorious, and we'll see you next week.